What does it mean to live? We often get the question, what do you want to do with your life? What does it entail? We do live, we do breathe, we work, we have fun, we travel, but why? Why is that? Why do we chase the feeling of something that we don't even have the capacity to explain through words? And that's when I had this crazy idea. The idea to travel. Finding meaning through people, experiences, and through places. Ultimately chasing life. My name is Matthew Kinosis Trochepe Mintelia, son of a public school teacher and a salesman. The youngest of three, my sister is a scholar, and my brother was a Damascian. There was as well. I graduated from science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand at the University of Santo Tomas. On top of that, I do a lot of things, notably being a journalist and a musician. And on this crazy idea, of course I had to bring some people with me. And they brought my closest friends. My name is Guinevere Titendero, and usually everyone calls me Gwen. I, gradu I just graduated from Mater Carmeli School of Nova Liches, where we all met. Doon kami lumaki, doon kami nurture and syempre, kumbaga yun na yung second home namin, kaming apat. About me, the rest wala naman ngayon kailangan malaman sa akin kasi I think yung film na magsasabi sa inyo kung sino man ako. And let's just say, who I am in the film is someone I'm happy about and I owe it to these boys. I knew Gwen for a long time. She plays guitar for her band. She's one of, if not my most trusted friend. And with her was Kurt. My name is Kurt Andero. Pinsan ni Gwen. Pero bago ako mag-umpisa, gusto ko muna siyempre magpasalamat kay Gwen. Kasi kalahati, kalahati ng sinabi niya, yun yung gusto ko sanang sabihin. So parang umikli yung segment ko, kaya I'm very thankful for you, Gwen. Kurt and I had been friends for a while, but we really became close when the pandemic hit. He also sings vocals for a band. And with us is Anton. He doesn't want to talk on camera, but he's a close friend to all of us. We all went to the same junior high school and even elementary school together, Mater Carmeli School of Navaliches. They stayed for senior high school and uh, I left. We all have different traits, personalities, preferences, and wants, but one thing we all shared was that we are all introverted, gamers, and lost college-bound kids. To fund our travels, of course we had to ask money from our parents and to take out our own savings. And we even proceeded to crowdfund this adventure, to which we received a bit of money, which really helped a lot. And finally, it was D-Day, 30th of June, 2023. Yeah, so let's start tayo sa ano, sa... Paano nga ba kami nagsimula sa Maynila tapos nagising na lang dito na sa Sambales? Well, for me lang kasi ako nag-skip cutscene eh. Tulog ako sa biyay eh. Pero like, to be honest, nag-start lang to sa mga ano eh, Discord calls eh habang naglalaro. And syempre, plano-plano, ano si Matthew, syempre kami eh, on board na from the start and thankfully lahat pinayagan. So, ayun, napag-usapan namin na by 7am, ando na kami sa bahay ni Mr. Yap, si Matthew. 
sa North Olympus, sabihin ko ba, address ko. <laughs> sa beep, 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 beep. No baliches. And, syempre, bilang Pilipino, meron tayong Pilipino time, and syempre, may chronic lateness ako. Ayun, nakala namin, late na kami kasi mga, mga 8.07, mga 8.10 na kami nakarating. But, Matthew welcomed us with the smile, pati sila tito-tita. Ando na si Anton. Ayun. The time na nakasakay na kami, nakopwesto na kami lahat sa kotse ni Matthew. It just feels right. For some reason, there's a part of me na may rightful place talaga may each sa mga sasakyan. Kaya sobrang comfy namin in our place. Pero that doesn't mean naman hindi kami nagpapalit. Pero somehow yung placement namin na yun just became the default and with that from Novaliches to Sambales iba real quick well ni naman mga 6 hours and to be honest may, may detour pa nga eh may mga pit, pit stops ay pit stops tuloy ano yun? stop over may mga stop over na na miss na usapan, mag-basking kami. Pero kasi, gulat na lang kami, nasa gubat-gubat kami. Ako, masyado akong natulala sa window ko lang. Akala ko, tama yung dinadaanan namin. Pero, nakabalik naman sa tamang landas. Ang importante, nakarating kami dito sa Sambales. There, we met up with the Alvero family. Family friend. And they owned a bed and breakfast place. Painawa Bed and Breakfast. And it was near everything, but more importantly, it felt like home. Immediately, we crashed and rested for a bit. And went on to the local airport. (coughs) Walking down the tarmac of an airport will always feel amazing for me. And I took them there because I wanted to share that experience with them. What I find very incredible at that airport is that it's literally beside the sea. It's just a minute of walking and so we were there. And that moment was also special because we can look at each other's faces into each other's eyes and there it was. That was what we were after. The selling point. Still, the typical, ano, family, family, ano, family bonding. Pero this one special kasi, for the first time, wala akong kasamang parents or fam. Ay, syempre, pinsan ko. Si Idol pala to eh. Ano sa ano? Latest memory mo sa beach? Excellent. Yung kanina lang. Wala. Bakit? Nakakalma. Greatest memory mo na eh? Tama na. Pinamaliit pala yun. Pinamaliit yung greatest memory mo. O sige, top, top his answer. I don't know. I don't know. Greatest. Wala nga. Eh? Gaga. And this, probably yung ano. It's the same bittersweet story of what happened sa tatay ko. Since yun yan. Defined me as a person. Gave me, you know, I know, as a direction. Cross it. Gago. What? So, how am I supposed to say? Na, you base ko yung life path ko dahil lang din. Or, I don't know. Some people might view it negatively. Might? Did someone do that? Yes, a few. A couple, few couple people did bear. I don't know. If it's I if it's for me it is for me to I think it's the calling. And the, ayun. So parang, as much as I love the you know, all this it's it's something. <laughs> something bittersweet that uh, and I always look back on. We hung out for a bit and enjoyed the view. But as it was getting dark we went back. Sa mga palad, 
Masama pa ang ramdam ko. Pero hindi mo masama yung pakiramdam ko. Baka wala ako ngayon dito. Nandun na ako sa dagat. Binabasa ako na yung camera. Tapos tinangay na ako ng alon. Tapos kakaibiganin ko yung sirena. Papakilala ko si Anton. He likes it, no? <laughs> At that moment, Gwen was having some cough. So, Anton and I went on to get some meds as well as dinner. We then had some burgers for dinner and we seated to have some rest. You watched Cars 3. Well, they watched Cars 3 and I fell asleep. We then woke up at around 4 a.m. the very next day and prepared as we were about to go hiking. We stopped at the local 7-Eleven for some goods and water and some emergency gear and we just drove. We then went on the drive until the cement road ended. The place where the rocky dirt trail began. We unloaded our gear and then proceeded to hike. It was such a surreal moment at first because the feeling of actually being there hasn't fully set in for me yet. The hike towards the top was really fun. It only lasted for an hour or so as we trekked through some grassy, rocky, dusty, and muddy trails towards the top. Then we finally reached the peak. It was windy. It was humid. But it was worth it. On one side was a full-on mountain range. And on the other side was the coast. And after a while, we walked back to our bands and agreed it was time to head down. But on the way down, oh, it was a different story. We were exhausted, hungry, so a lot of these things happened. <laughs> I always wanted to interview some of the locals and hear their thoughts on what we were doing and their thoughts on their place. And that's when we met Citadel, a restaurant tour and a local resident. Unfortunately, the microphone cut out and the whole camera died while we were interviewing her, but she told us that she would always been fond of her place, of Zambales, of its scenery, of the life in the province itself, because you will have everything that you will ever need in life. You have the sea, you have the mountains, you have the land, and everything else you can think of. It gives peace, serenity, and it's something that is very rare in the city. And I still distinctly remember when she said that we should just push, we should just try, because that's what life is all about. One of the reasons why we were all there in the first place, why we had this trip, because we were all lost. We had no clue on what we'll take for college, or we weren't sure of what we took up. And we were there to look for signs. Hindi ko naman talaga balak mag CS eh. Ang first thing in mind ko talaga mag-IT. Valorant? First time in mind ko talaga IT. Tapos web development or game development. Yun yung dalawang nasa isip ko talaga. Eh kaso sa sarili ko, nagparang ano, nagsettle na ng bawa sa parang ganito na parang parang gusto ko i-challenge yung sarili ko ganun. Parang sabi ko sa sarili ko, ay hindi ko kaya mag-engineer kasi ang hina ko sa mat. Pero what if this time, parang ayusin ko na talaga na itry ko ng parang seryoso. Baka maybe maging successful din ako. Tapos parang satisfied ako sa pinili ko. Ano? Parang course ko na. Computer engineering. Software and hardware. Software engineer. Siyempre software na yun ni IT Comsite. So, bakit ko sinabi yun? Hindi ko alam. 
Ayan, ito dito. Ayan yung cybersec. Parang ano siya. Ang problema ng cybersec, gusto lang siya talaga i-specialize. Eh, wala siya sa course. Eh, sana meron. Pero parang wala nga. Pag-aralan ko na lang. Pero yun nga, sana gusto ko ma-specialize. Na-overwhelm lang talaga ako kasi yun nga. Baka mamaya wala pala. Hindi mo ba si physics nung yung results sa result? Tuntuwa ako. I was very happy. Then, nabas sa USD, nag-iiya ka ng mga klase ko yung shit. Tapos ako nakatunga nga, alam mo, alam mo, parang wala nangyayari. Di medyo eh. Kira pa ako sa physics, pero kung yung payoff naman is matutulungan ako sa med school eh. Why not? Pero in the monetary side, legit na sabi pa kaila mama niya kung kailangan. Kasi pwede ko tapusin yung course ko in 3 years if ma-overload ko siya. Sabi ko, pwede ko siya tapusin 3 years. Pero, titigil ako ng isang taon in the middle para makapag-ipon. Tapos sabi nila na kaya ka kaya na naman daw, hindi gagawin nga ng parang. Tapos so, sinabi talaga yun, wala, umiyak na kay Pape. Tapos nakapag-down na ako. So, no choice na, lock in na ako dito. Kailangan ko lang pagbutiin. Kasi pag hindi, hindi na sayang lahat. Kasi okay, mahirap din. Umalis ako sa UST. Comfort place ko na malaking school, mag- magandang campus. Hindi ko lang alam kung ba talaga ako umalis. Mama may something sa UST. Kaya ba nga ni sa bakit ako umalis? Bakit ka may ibang pupot? May pupunta mo na yung pupunta mo. Yes, yeah. Eh, kasi yung point. The afternoon came and we had to leave for Liu Liwa Beach. Located at San Felipe, It's around 35 kilometers from where we were. It was recommended for its popularity, soft sands, and waves making it perfect for surfing, which I like. Left and right, I got greetings of congratulations from random people and I thought it was funny. Just a random person walking through a beach wearing his graduation toga. Unfortunately, There are no instructors available, so we decided to just have fun and swim. The waves were strong but calming. The tree line meets the sand, the mountains washed over the sea. It was as if we were in a movie. To be fairly honest, I don't think I'm going to die. No, because... Huh? Don't cry. Ah, fuck you! No, because... I mean... I've been a medic, I've been a swimmer, I've been... A medic swimmer. That's it. The fact that that happened. Kind of scared the shit out of me, so I'm gonna die. Hey, how, how, how are you feeling during the camera tour, Steve? No. I know. Hello, dear. <laughs> About a year ago, my family and I went to Iba Zambales, the same place where we were staying at. We were excited to take a swim at the local beach, the one near the airport. And the waves were calm, the sea was calm, and as we were going back after half an hour of swimming, my dad suffered an obscene seizure. This type of seizure where you just stare off into space. And I don't know if I was too late to notice, but by the time I pulled him to shore, he was pale and unresponsive. I wouldn't want to say dead, but certainly almost. It was a nightmare in reality, but I had to act. I performed CPR and he gained consciousness and turned out he had a lot of water. That experience, all that trauma, that triumph, I think it was the biggest spark I had on why I want to be a doctor. And as much as it shook me to my core, as much as it affected me, it motivated me equally. Shortly after, the lifeguards told all the people to stay at the shore as it almost getting dark. We then hung out for a bit while we fixed our clothes and we drove back. 
We arrived at Liuliwa Beach again at around 11am but luckily it was very cloudy and no direct sunlight. And then I proceeded to attempt surfing. Whilst Gwen and Anton were being battered by the waves because they were very strong, I decided to do an interview on one of the locals. Kung kailan lang po na-discover itong liwa bago naging resort is talagang nung naging resort na po siya mga resort owner dagdagsaan yung mga tao dito halos hindi na po nawawalan ng tao nawala sa ibang lugar nawala masyadong mapuntahan dito talagang dinadagsa po yung mga tao bukod dito, bukod sa tabi sa mga resorts dito meron din po tayo ng waterfalls ng Uluwan ng Uluwan waterfalls na dinadayo rin po ng mga turista Tapos meron din po tayong Guruto Waterfalls na dinadayo rin po ng mga turista. Kaya yung mga pinupuntahan po nila dito. So mag adventure, punta po, pasyal lang po sila dito sa Sambales, San Felipe, si Julie Uliwa. Para ma-experience naman po nila kung gaano kasaya dito sa San Felipe, Julie Uliwa. Marami ang surfing po, kagaya nag-surfing po kayo, nag-enjoy naman po siguro kayo. Lahat, hindi po, lahat po tayo mag-enjoy pag nandito po tayo sa San Felipe, Julie Uliwa. Natin dito sir, ang buhay dito talaga sa... San Felipe, surfing na po talaga, pangingisda, yun po ang buwan namin, pero yun yung kinaka, kalimitan kinakabuhay na po namin. Ang surfing po kasi parang, parang nag-aaral din yan eh, kung di mo pupukusan, di ka matututo at di, di ka magwa, yung parang di ka magwawagi. Yun lang din po namin yung kwan ko sir, kasi dati, naging beginner lang din po surfing, na natuto na natuto, hanggang naging kwan naman na po, ang instructor, Ang masasabi ko na sa mga mag-aaral, eh, kailangan rin nila mag-focus sa pag-aaral nila, hindi lang kwad. Yung kung anong gusto nilang gawin, gawin nila, pero mag-focus pa sa pag-aaral. What we really loved about everything there was, it felt like home. Not just the place, but the people as well. It was as if we were supposed to be there. Upon arriving within Iba, we got some pasalubong that we would take back to our homes. And it felt really nice because it felt important. It felt as if we were bringing a piece of what we really loved about Zambales back to our homes, back to our loved ones, back to our families. The next day came and it was a slow morning. We had breakfast. We chilled for a while, we put on our clothes, we packed our bags into our cars, and of course, we took photos. Then we said our goodbyes and we left. It took us another couple of hours and just like that, we were back. In our home city, in our hometowns, our own neighborhoods. Our families. As bittersweet as it was, we enjoyed it. Because we know we did something that we just planned in Discord calls to which others thought it was too ambitious or crazy. Plans that enlisted the advice of directors, teachers, filmmakers, producers, locals, and all the help of the people we can get. A plan that needed a lot of dedication, a lot of money, a lot of will. A film that aimed to show what it means to travel again, to travel as a teenager, to find meaning, love, life, direction, and everything in between. Actually, it's a day three na kami, in which to be honest, para sa grupo namin, siguro except kay Matthew. Siyempre kami pagod-pagod. May mga types na tinatabad na kayo pumunta sa dapat gagawin, pumunta namin or gawin yung mga dapat gagawin namin. But so far, I would never deny that this was a very fun experience. Naging fun lang to as it is. Like, ganito siya kasaya dahil I'm with people who means a lot. Hopefully, this bonding time, it's a fact that despite the incoming college life ahead of us, each of us will have each other. Sila yung pang lifelong friends na. And 
yun yung pinaka-grateful ako yung uwi ko sa Maynila. Yung feeling na I have these great people in my life na sasamaan ako mumuhay. And that yung mga pastillas na binili na, mga pasalubong, syempre. I'm very glad na iuwi, na, na iuwi namin yun. And siguro, ang isa rin sa, syempre, hindi mo wala yung experience na mag-outing as young adults. Wala na, parang dati kasi I thought that sobrang labo na may experience ka to, lalo na in my teenage years or high school years. Kasi technically, wala yung parang mga college, pero like alam mo yun, it's very unexpected but I'm very thankful na nangyari to. Hindi ko alam, alam ko arami kong ways na ma-phrase ko better pero kasi it's 11 p.m. Wala pa aming tulog. I hope you get what I mean. And understand how how much I appreciate these boys and this outing as a whole. And yung mga pastillas, pati manila yung inabi. Siguro isa pa is, I think, sobrang underrated talaga yung you're going out your way na, yun, record to. Because, One of the ways we can remember these memories is documenting it. So I'm very thankful to Mr. Yap for including me in this film. And hopefully, I can look back and sana hindi ako mag-regret na umupo ako dito sa kama at magsalita na parang ewan at magsabi na mga sweet words kahit na nasa harap ko lang sila nagsasabon. Nagkait gusto ko na maligo. Sana hindi ko i-regret. Well, hindi naman talaga. And, yun lang naman. Hopefully, we get home safely. And, hindi to maging top 10 last video. <laughs> last last video sa so, ano, people. Pero, knock on wood. Knock, knock, knock. knock. Una sa lahat, gusto kong sabihin, hindi ko talaga in-expect tong trip na to at all. Like, ang dami namin setbacks, ang dami namin kailangan ayusin, ang dami namin kailangan pagplanuhan. Anyway, paano nga ba nagsimula tong trip na to? Ano ba purpose namin sa pagbunta dito? We were grade 8. And hindi pa kami magkakilala ni Matthew masyado. Nag-start lahat sa isang Minecraft server kung saan naglaro kami. Parang sobrang awkward nun talaga na get together. Kasi si Gwen lang naman yung madalas kong kasama since maliliit mali- pa lang kami. So, ayun, nagtuloy. Tapos dumating naman tong 2019, nag-pandemic, lahat tayo na for sa bahay. Wala kaming magawa. Sa bahay lang, kain, tulog. I mean, sa mga nanonood nito, syempre, alam niyo yung pakaramdam. Kasi yun na nga, dumating na kami sa ganito. Great world na agad kami bigla. In a blink of an eye. Actually, hindi na kami great world eh. Kasi, kakatapos lang namin, kakagraduate lang namin. So, in two months, we're pursuing our dreams and... Wala kami choice kundi take up yung challenge together main purpose namin is soul searching and basically para sa akin pambawi sa mga years na nasayang dahil sa pandemic like parang na force coming to mandagad so grabe yung experience na to na appreciate ko talaga lalo na yung makasama ko ngayon kasi sila talaga yung solid talaga like kung may mga kaibigan kayo na solid maintindihan nyo Look at us now. Andito kaming apat. Staying strong. Buhay pa. Day 3 na. And I'm really thankful for that. Kasi kami lang naman to. Mga sudyante. With our dreams and our aspirations. Still, hinahanap pa rin namin kung ano yung personal na gusto namin hanapin. And I think malaki yung naambag ng trip na to sa amin. Kasi 
ito yung nagbigay sa amin ng opportunity na makita yung mundo for, from a different perspective. And we met a lot of people na sobrang accommodating, sobrang bait. Hindi <laughs> talaga namin din na-expect lahat ng to. Pero sobrang saya ko talaga kasi natuloy. Kasi kung hindi to natuloy, wala. Andun lang kami sa bahay, doing the same shit we do every day. Ano ba? Sa mga activities na ginawa namin, pinaka na-enjoy ko talaga is yung hiking sa gundo. Kasi it's been a while. It's been a long while since we last um, hike a mountain. Kasi sama yung pinsan ko. Um, it was very challenging. Sabi nga ng locals dito, beginner friendly nga daw yung term sa pag hike namin sa bundo. Iba iba yung pagod, grabe. Felt like a real achievement to me. Rather than getting high grades, rather than getting compliments from other people. Iba experience kapag may na-achieve ka something na hindi mo madalas nakukuha. At ngayon ko lang siya na-appreciate since mas nag-mature na yung mga utak namin. Mas nag-change kami as a person. And nakakatakot lang isipin na ang bilis ng oras. Dati mga bata lang kami na kung ano-anong goofy shit yung ginagawa. Ngayon, parang na-experience na namin itong mga bagay na to. So, it just feels so unreal and nostalgic. The future may be unknown for all of us. We may feel anxious, sad, angry, or happy regarding things. But as a friend once said, it's okay. We feel things. And things happen. We let it flow, and the same goes with life. Going home, we still might not have firm decisions, but we come home with hope and love, knowing that whatever we choose, fate put us there. And hopefully, it's what we really want, because we'll chase it. Life. It's all about learning, exploring, trying things out. If it works, then good. If not, you did not fail, but you just found out a way that doesn't work. Like all the roads that we've traveled, it's all about perspective. It may look like as if it never ends, but it's all about how you travel.